Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're going to be talking about the new sort of drill ground that they have in the game to allow you to AFK train your heavy armor, your light armor, your bow, all of your weapons, your physique, etc, etc. And it is not as good as a lot of the other NPC ways of doing things. Like you can do it a lot quicker if you do it yourself while you're doing it actively. But overnight, if you need to level up something that you're not really interested in leveling yourself, you can just leave it on, leave yourself on the drill ground with a lot of food, etc. But we'll go through all the information that is required for that as soon as once we get into all the additional details. Now, I haven't made a video for quite a long time. I had to take a bit of a break because I was starting to lose my mind a little bit. A lot of stuff going on in real life. But all of that's been sorted now. I'm back in play. I've been playing Myth of Empires on the new seasonal servers. I will do a full review on what I think about the seasonal servers. What might be better if they could do fix some things and some other stuff like that. But so far, it's been a lot of fun. We've got a really good group of guys over here so far. And it's been nice to get back into Myth of Empires on the long haul. Now, there is a link in the description and in the pinned comment for a competition that I'm running for the content creators. I'd be really appreciated if you could click that link for me. If you do enjoy my content, you want to see more Myth of Empires content, remember to like the video if you want to see some more, subscribe to it. And we do have a Patreon in the description if you'd like to support myself and the channel. So let's get into what this actually is. Now we're going to go into the crafting recipes panel. We're going to go over to the tame and recruit. Now it's going to be along the line of the drill stuff. So you're going to have the, normally you'd have on the official service, you'll have the uh, drill dummy and uh, the uh, warrior camp and the wood dummy sort of stuff that normally you'd only use to level the weapons of your NPCs, your warriors. But they've now added the basic drill ground. And this is only, I believe it's only accessible on the seasonal servers right now. I don't know if they're on official anymore. They were, they did say previously that it was something that was only going to be on a seasonal as a test. And then they'll bring it to official later, which is what the seasonal is going to be used for. They're going to be adding things in to see how well it worked and then moving it over to official at a later date. But if they have moved it already over to official, please let us know down below in the comments. I haven't checked it myself. I haven't played on the official standard servers in a long time. So it's something that people, if people need to know, just let them know down below. Now this requires level 46 to make the first on the basic drill ground. What it takes is still ingots, slabs, tenacious leather, and fort wall masonry. So it does take a little bit to get it actually built up. You do have to get, uh, you do have to be a little bit far along, but on the seasonal servers with everything being sped up, all of your proficiencies and the XP gains, etc., it's actually really quick to get to this point. I've uh, I've created like four or five characters. I've deleted them and created them, deleted them. That's why I'm only level 46 currently. I've been working on a lot of my skills. I'm at 702 one hand. We've got 850 pole armor, 878 heavy armor. It does go up really quickly, but I've only had a couple of days on this newer character to get my stuff together and it does go quite quick, but it's not as quick to ruin it as a lot of people were worried about. It is actually quite good for an official server and it does speed up as the servers progress so if you want to join into the seasonal servers two three weeks in you'll have a much easier time at leveling your proficiencies the times and the uh, the amount of bonuses you get to level your proficiencies goes up as the age of the server goes along but i'll go through all of the information with the uh, seasonal service itself when i do the next video which hopefully i'll be dropping tomorrow i've still got to do a few things i want to test before and i need to do a couple of things check with the devs on a couple of questions that i have on things that are in the game to make sure that i'm correct on it so i don't just jump straight in and ruin it for everyone but like uh start lying about stuff i don't want to be doing anything like that all my t's crossed and i's dotted before i do a final verdict on it so as you can see there is actually quite a lot of space needed for one of these and you can place them outside we place them on top of our base so you can have sit there afk at night and you don't have to worry about someone coming along and just giving you a little juke juke with the spear as they're going past with a horse so you can put this on the floor inside of a base or you can put it on the floor outside it's probably about five by four in total five squares by four squares in total so you will need a sort of larger base to be able to put it inside for safekeeping but what you want to do is basically you can have let's see if we can grab another weapon on here right so i'm gonna grab the bow as well we'll stick the bow down here and we'll stick uh is there an arrow in here yes there is thank you very much put that in here and what you want to do whatever weapon you want to level up you want to pull out so you want to pull the weapon out before you go up to it now you can put an NPC on here by holding down the E button. You can become a supervisor yourself or an NPC can sit as a supervisor. This will speed up your proficiency progression when you're actually doing it. The guy that normally has an NPC on here is using it right now to level up certain parts of his uh, proficiencies. So it's not on there right now. But you just hold down and you put on the... Um, there's a little thing that pops up that you can put in a supervisor with the NPC. It doesn't pop up unless you have an NPC following you. So there is that. So if you just click on that server supervisor, then you'll stand here and you will gain very, very tiny amounts of drill 
proficiencies as you can see down below it moves up very very small amounts but you can with the dragons if you put the five dragons into it over here the skill xp efficiency times is that actually raises the amount of proficiency that you get per tick so you start off with like one or two if you have no proficiencies in it and you can get level up it goes up like one or two points every second over here with the proficiency levels it goes up one or two points every second which i'll show you in a sec when i got the two-handed let's talk about how to let's just get on to the actual thing itself we're holding on to this we're going to go and we're going to join training now we haven't got any weapons out so you won't be doing anything except you will be leveling your say for instance you got heavy armor on it will level up small amounts. You can see it's going up by seven points each tick. And that's because I have five points in the actual heavy armor itself. It would be really small, be like one point per. It does go up really slow when you get to the higher levels. I almost finished this off, but I ran out of my power hour and I just couldn't be bothered to stand there for a little bit longer. But that'll take maybe 15 minutes to level up. But you will level your physique, your heavy armor if you've got that in, and your light armor if you have a light armor piece on. I do currently not. I should have, yeah, I do have an armor piece in there. So it is going to level up but it's leveling up really slow because i've only got one piece on there the more pieces of armor you have the quicker and higher the proficiency you'll gain from it and we know that the armor is like the slowest to level of all the bloody proficiencies when it comes to combat proficiencies so if you want to actually level up the weapon you pick the weapon you want you pull that weapon out before you get into the actual stand itself the drill ground you go in join training and it will do that one of the bonuses of this actual thing is it does not take durability of your armor it doesn't take durability of your weapons it doesn't take any durability at all you can use any weapon in there so it doesn't really matter what you're going to be doing now you do gain small amounts of xp and this is buffed up by the xp power hour but it's pointless because it only puts it up to like 2.57 xp a second which if you're doing it overnight that can kind of add up but this is definitely more of a something to afk level proficiencies and it's not so overpowered that it's going to ruin the gameplay if people just go afk on it all day long but it does help in the long run over days especially if you want to be leveling things like your shield and your two hand your pole arm and your heavy armor etc like afk wise now you can't level your mining and lumbering and stuff and the hunting and planting on this or any of the crafting things over here but it is definitely worth doing it to level up your combat efficiency if you haven't got the same amount of time as some of us do to actually play the game now if you want to switch the weapon you just literally jump off it again we'll pull the bow out now it does all you need is one arrow when you're leveling the bow so we'll go into here and we'll go join training and it will start firing these arrows at the wall behind it and you'll start leveling it up it does level bows very bloody slowly so you see it going up just a little bit at a time when you're doing stuff when you've got the five points in like your pole arm levels up quite quickly last night i went to sleep with it at 800 and i woke up about six hours later at 850 now that's not too bad especially since it's happening while you're asleep now you do need food in here and it does take 50 food every 20 or so minutes so it is pretty food intensive but just go and kill a whole load of boars and get all the meat off there especially on the seasonal servers you're going to be getting a lot of that meat and it's, it's not really an issue when you're actually leveling it up but you can see it's actually leveling up the bow and it's sort of and it's leveling up the light armor because i've got one piece on there and it's leveling up my heavy armor very small amounts because it's so high level it would be leveling my physique but the physique is actually at 900 so i don't need that anymore and i haven't really got the coins to i've changed the dragons around so many times it costs like 5k per and i'm just not really interested in doing that right now so i'll sort that out after like tonight's 24 hour thing now there is an actual larger one as well from the basic ground you've got the intermediate drill ground now this holds one supervisor that will level your drills so if you want to level your drills afk jump on as a supervisor if you want to level your weapons and armor there's three slots on the basic drill ground and five slots on the intermediate drill ground so you can put five units and one military supervisor like sufficient food in a slot each unit consumes 2160 fullness per hour so it's about 50 food every 20 minutes and that is basically how much you're going to be going through but that's all there is on this afk leveling your stuff while you're asleep drill ground or if you're going to go cook dinner you can leave the game on sit on there and just gets a little bit of passive going so you're not wasting too much time i think it's a really nice addition to the game let me know down below what you guys think about this sort of thing if it's too mobile gamey if it's too auto for you guys please let me know down below if you think it's a really good thing for those that don't have as much time also please let me know down in the comment now remember there is a link in the description and a link in the pinned comment to help me out on a content creator program myth of empires contest that is all over there where the person who gets the most amount of views and the most amount of interaction with this link win some money that will help me out massively so please 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 if you have the time just give it a click and if you like the video remember to like it if you'd like to see some more myth of empires content we've got v rising coming out next month we're going to be doing a lot of content on that on may 17th make sure to look out for that and as you can see in the background Solasco just stuck his rebel 
kernel sitting on there. So now we're leveling up uh, proficiency a little bit quicker, getting a little bit more XP. You can see on the side now it's 0 0.93 instead of just 0 0.19. And if you have five people, just as a little side one, if you've got five people sitting there, you get the XP from everyone doing it on there. So it like shares a lot of that stuff. Anyway, as I said, there is a Patreon in the description if you'd like to support myself on the channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.